people who apply to the platform uh, will definitely enter an international and interesting uh, discourse about architecture. This year we received 357 uh, ideas, which means that in four years we already received more than 1,000 ideas. And uh, the selection, which we are trying to improve and upgrade this selection every year. We don't see this selection as a competition and we try to emphasize that from the beginning. Uh, uh, primarily this uh, selection is aimed at selecting a group of people who members of the platform would uh, like or are recommended to meet live in person and to discuss with them here at the matchmaking conference about the European architecture program. And at the same time, uh, this conference opens European architecture program that then happens between March and October uh, this year in 17 European cities. I don't know many of other kind of platform of, of, of this um, size and scope is that um, it's not run by one institution, but somehow you have many institutions involved. And, and therefore the, the, the kind of maybe the agenda is a little bit more chaotic, but at the same time it's more pluralistic. I like also that because of this call, it's a very kind of bottom-up um, process. It's like somehow uh, you deal with the proposals, and so, uh, but everybody can propose. So somehow the selection of the jury make uh, is, is on an on a open, open call. So I think is interesting as a kind of balance between a kind of bottom-up and an institutional position um, to understand what uh, architecture will be in the future. It, it started out from the beginning to be a, a very uh, non-hierarchical uh, thing in a way, yeah? and um, it has this kind of a friendship atmosphere. So everybody is the same. If, uh, if you are a very small institution with just one room and five volunteers, you are the same as a big museum in, in Rome. And um, this is the, the, uh, one of the uh, very interesting things. Yeah. It's important when, when you come to this event, you have an idea. Okay, I will talk about this, about my book, about my work, whatever. But then you think, oh, maybe what they are saying is far much interesting or even contradicting my ideas. That uh, moment that you get affected by the other, in this case, by the family we get together here, gives another dimension to our to our work. Each time I get to know different uh, places and spots and experience, and it's very about uh, this uh, combination of uh, unexpected things. The, the aspect that to me was, was very, very interesting of the kind of uh, new way of looking is really the idea of um, of uh, questioning, um, you know, we we in the last years we have heard so many times that you know the future are the cities that by 2050 you know majority of the population will live in cities and so on. So there has been this kind of work on on urban, but I think it's interesting now to start to see a kind of question of all these other territories that uh, um, I don't think they are. Uh, fully non-urban because I think you know you have, can have an urban mindset more than living just in, in, in a city but somehow are different territories so I think it's interesting to start to see in some of the ideas the, the desire to sort of like work on these territories and trying to understand what, what, they, um, what they are and how we can inhabit them uh, differently. It's interesting to see how, anyhow, this generation, like the way the things uh, are drawn or like the images, you didn't felt there was a kind of such, such a big diversity, for example. So this idea of sameness is like, I think there is also a kind of work on the representation that actually link all these uh, things in a, very, in a very connected way. So you will n know that the project will come from Slovenia or from France because the participants name but you will not see it right away in the way it was communicated or in the way it was